So I have this muddy bike behind me. It's kind of dirty. I took it for a ride last night. The newest addition is a light bar on the front. You can see I got it bolted on there. I actually just kind of ran it in through the plastics. So it's a little bit shaky at night. It's not that bad. You could see it in my last video. But I did the wiring with nothing but wires and electrical tape. I just got me some connectors today. And I got some of this liquid tape. My main goal today is to get this thing set up to where moisture won't hurt it. So I want to show you what I got here. Got my inline fuse right here. There's no fuse in it right now. The fuse is actually right here and I have like four more of those. So the positive runs straight to the inline fuse and then it's going to run all the way to the switch and it's going to split there at the switch to go to do two different switches because I don't really have a three setting switch to use. So I have two different switches, one for the really bright part of the light and then there's like a dim part of the light. I'll show you in a little bit whenever this is all complete. Two separate switches. Uh, I'll, I'll get a switch to do that a little better later. I've been in here for a while taking apart my uh, last job. I took all the wires out and I'm completely redoing it. I'm actually just recording to give this time for the glue to dry. <laughs> but that glue should keep water from getting in there. And that way I won't have to worry about all the water holes I hit. A little bright in here, ain't it? There we go. It's a little better. Next up, I'm actually going to get on Amazon right now. I'm going to order a tail light. So this is kind of the start to my build. So I got a headlight. I got a tail light. It's a really bright light bar on the front and I blind everybody that goes the other direction, but I got a headlight. Now my switches, I do not have the switches in the mail yet that goes onto my handlebar. It's got the high and the low beam. Uh, this is a two function light bar, by the way. It's got an accent light and it's got a work light. It's bright. My dog is looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm in here talking to myself. The neighbors aren't there. Good. Thank God. I'm going to go take my bike up to the farm and ride around a little bit. I got to load it loaded up on the back of my SUV as you can see out this window once I pull these blinds up. Yeah, buddy. Well, I'm headed up to the farm to take a little ride. Figured it was a good day for it. It actually took me a little longer than expected to put this tail light on. I had some technical difficulties. Really, I got a short like up near one of my switches and I had to figure out where it was. Finally found it. Got it fixed, kinda. It still likes to cut off sometimes. I'm gonna fix it later whenever I get my actual switches in the mail. That comes with a horn button, uh, turn signal buttons, uh, the high beam, low beam, that kind of stuff. I gotta wait on it. So we ain't got long till dark. It's like 50 degrees out here. It's gonna start dropping fast. I belong West Virginia. So many potholes up here on these country roads. So anyways, I really didn't bring the gate key, so I'm kind of going to have to go around the gate. Uh, can I pull in here? I cannot pull in here. Well, that gum. I don't know where to park. So I had a situation where my ratchet strap got caught on that when I rolled the bike off. It broke the handle part of my ratchet strap. So I thought I was left with only one. I found another one in my trunk, so lucky very lucky on that <laughs> didn't think I had another I didn't bring the gate key but I just kind of went around the gate This is fantastic. Honestly, I need to test my light bar. I had a short in it. I want to see how well it holds up and stays on. Seems like it's staying on. It's just really shaky. It looks like it's flashing, but it's really just, it just shakes around with my plastic. So it's connected directly to my plastic. Oh yeah, and I gotta show you something else I got. Um, nah, 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 let me get off. It's my beautiful tail light. It works only whenever my light bar is on. So whenever I turn my light bar off, this button right here, my tail light turns off. That blue button actually is a different switch for the accent light. And then you got the the super suit. Ah, so yeah. What the f Lord forgive me for almost saying a curse word. But what the f That was not there the other day, but I think I know a way around. There's another way to that field. Because I, 
I'm a pro at navigating this property. Not really. It's all right, I know my way around. I'll just get around that big tree. This way. Yes. Just a little bit of water. Let's just keep my feet out of it. <laughs> Tennis shoes, baby. See, we're just gonna go right around it because those trees are down up there. Ooh. Oh, man. Got my foot wet. So anyways, there's this like hippie village out here. It's kind of weird. Uh, so my parents say a bunch of hippies live there. I don't know much about them, but it's interesting. And I am to stay away from that area. But nobody said anything about looking from a distance. It's at the edge of the farm. So screw it, let's go find it. It's kind of like in the woods in the middle of nowhere. I hope I have plenty of gas. I should, I don't see my gas light coming on. I didn't think about that beforehand. Oh shoot, which way do I, oh left. I know where I is. I was just here the other day on the side-by-side. -side. It's so bright! Just go down, son. Nobody wants to see you right now. Ah! Ow. I notice everything that hits my feet. Because I don't have boots on and I'm a puss. I think the path ends over here and there's like a barbed wire fence. And that's the end of my path. That's quite interesting though. You got like a a building there, like a, a cabin, and you got like this little three-story stone round building, and you got a few other cabins, you got nice places on the other side that you have to go up an entirely different road to see. It was quite interesting, but I'm not allowed on the property, so I have to stay over here. Out to the beautiful open fields. Really don't know where the holes are in this field. You find them a lot quicker on a dirt bike. <laughs> like this one. It's a lot of big bumps. You can never really tell where they're at until you hit them. Look at this crap. That's West Virginia right there. You can't tell me any different. Woo! Now this is a field for shredding in. We can see the interstate over here. The cliffs are down here.
Last time I was on this little path here, I was like seven years old in the back of a four-wheeler with dad. Oh, shoot. I done got my wheel stuck between two sticks. That's how you get stuck. Yeah! 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 I feel great! Wonderful! Check it out, I can see fantastically! <laughs> it's a little bit angled. Did it just turn off? <laughs> Yeah, my wiring isn't the best. I'll fix it later though. Promise you. It'll be funny whenever the light goes off inside this tunnel and it gets really dark. And we're off. It's honestly a super beautiful night. It's 50 degrees. It's not that cold. It's a little chilly. It's not like summertime. 